We've got uh, six months left in our Kelseyville Cat Program. We got a grant from PetSmart Charities to spay and neuter as many cats uh, from Kelseyville, 9541 zip code, and I need Kelseyville cats. As many as we can possibly get in the next six months. We'll spay and neuter them for free, and then we'll put them back where they came from so they can live out the remainder of their life. Bring them in, call us, we'll make an appointment for you. Um, if you just bring them in, we'll even make room for them. Hello, <laughs> I'm Dr. Jennifer Bennett. I'm the medical director here at Animal Control and I've been a veterinarian for almost six years now. I uh, perform most of the surgeries for, actually all the surgeries for animal care and control and a lot of community surgeries for um, different categories. We have a free pit bull program, a low cost pit bull program, and a low-cost general surgery program for the public. What we've done is we've just hung up chains. We've got a public access area where the public can view dogs that are available for adoption. And then in the back section that you can't even really see are six kennels that we call puppy quarantine. Any puppies that come in are immediately put back into that area. They're only handled by one person. Um, and throughout the day, that, that whole area, is only, it's a quarantine area for puppies. And they stay there until they've had all their shots, until they've been medically cleared by the vet. And at that time, once that's cleared, then they get moved into the, the public access area where anybody can look at them and adopt So you can see all the guys we've done. about the uh, cut the area is off is to help uh, prevent access to people uh, to the public because I mean you're walking around in the public you're in your own yard you're in a park who knows what you've got your shoes that's the whole point of you know, blocking the area off so that we're not exposing the puppies to anything that they they shouldn't be exposed to we want to make sure that they get cleared they get healthy they get vaccinated once that's all done then they're available for adoption to the public. And this has actually helped a lot. Um, this is kind of Dr. Bennett's pet project here. We're trying to make sure that we keep, keep the whole population healthy by concentrating on the puppies. This what? guy went to the board of supervisors this morning. We're trying to get him and it's a corgi leg. He just wants his belly rubbed, huh?